Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? I'm going to show you how I fixed uh, this Briggs & Stratton pressure washer professional engine series. Eight and three quarter foot-pounds torque per SAE yada yada J1940. 3,000 PSI max, 2.7 maximum gallons per minute. Okay, this one had to replace the carburetor. The old one was in such awful shape it was couldn't couldn't be fixed and I'll show you how bad it was but right off the bat as I've preached before the best way out of this is not to get into it so buy preferably order one or two of these or however many you need of these fuel shutoff valves you can get a way better deal if you order them and put them on every small engine you have uh, They'll fit on everything except weed eaters and chainsaws. So buy it, use them when you're done with it for the season or anytime you know you're not gonna be using it for a while, for a good while, just fire the thing, sh shut the valve off and fire it up either order and let it run until it stops running and you know there won't be all that bad, that gas to go bad in there. So this one had to replace the carburetor. Here's the old one. And there's the new one. Okay, let me see if I can get in here. Do you see anything right off the bat that's weird, that's not right with this picture? Look, the fuel inlet, the fuel inlet where the fuel line plugs on is 180 degrees on the wrong side on the new one. But I was able to make this one work with this Frankenstein fuel line. I'll show you. But, um... Make sure you get the right carburetor, that helps. I didn't order this one, but hey, we made, we, we made lemonade, right? So, uh, this one, uh, you'll need a little bit smaller uh, socket. You need a, a eight millimeter socket. Takes these two uh, shoulder bolts, shoulder screws off the air cleaner. Those two hold that on. Then you'll need the same size socket again on the two carburetor screws. And let's see. Okay, if you ask me, obviously this needs to be replaced, but I don't think we're going to worry about it this time around. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But this one, if you ask me, they used backwards wire color for their wires because they're using the red wire for a ground on one of the screws that holds the carburetor on there. So just keep that in mind. And for whatever that's worth. Okay, I mean, other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Same old, same old. But I'm going to show you how bad this carburetor looks in about as shape this carburetor is in. This, that's a cool air cleaner. You don't ha have to have any tools to take it off. That's a good design. But check this out. Bear with me one moment. Turn my radio off. I ain't listening to. So, some of the, uh, Okay, that's the front. Some of the plastic stuff on here was a little bit different on the new one, but it runs fine. Um, but the main, usually what happens is the main jet, let me take this out, it'll float. The main jet that holds your fuel bowl on clogs up the little holes in it. So, but guess what? On this one, the main jet was seized up so bad, I rounded the corners off. And this is what's left of it. Had to drill the dumb thing. Here's, let's see, that was the, that's the bottom side that you'll see, you know. And, uh, focus. So after I rounded it off, after soaking it with all kinds of stuff, rounded it off, used chisels to try and get it to budge, it wouldn't. So finally drilled it out, and that's what's left of it. Then, that'll let me take, get the fuel ball out. Now you can see how clean that is. It's decent. I think I soaked it in this stuff, which I need to get a new can of that one. That one's ancient. It's half, mostly empty. But uh, it, there was still, even after I drilled it, okay, there's still some in there in these threads, which this is 3 8 fine, 3 8 24 thread per inch, if you need to clean those out. But it was still a piece broke off, seized up in there. So I drilled it out, used one of my smallest, easy out screw extractors and there's what's left of it focus 
So, but when I got all that mess out, I still soaked it in this stuff for a long time. And I mean, it looks better, but it's not usable. The this this little piece came out, little uh, rubber part that goes down in where the needle goes, right in here, right in there. Sorry, that hole right there. But it's worthless. It would never run the same again. It's cleaned out where it would almost work, but that uh, little. Uh, rubber bushing where the needle goes that it would probably flood all the time and this I think if you ask me it looks like that's like a welched plug it's in even smaller like uh, chainsaw and weed eater carburetors it looks like there's a welch plug missing but I never I don't remember seeing the thing it might be in my can of gunk there but um, I think that's about it oh here's something fun too okay there's your choke little choke valve still works right look at the main butterfly valve thing seized up it's barely trying to move right well look what's the difference in the two how come this one still works and that one doesn't they used a brass shaft there's some plastic on top but the shaft is brass you can see in there it's metallic brass this shaft black plastic you see down in there black plastic seized up which you know it, it loosened up a little bit but it ain't worth it and these are very similar on a lot of these small engines it's I've got an old snapper riding lawnmower that has similar type but um, that's about it uh, if you want to watch keep watching you can I'm, see if I can uh, throw this air cleaner back on here and start it up. <coughs> Wish I had a pause for the camera, but I don't. What's wrong with that old iPod? iPod touch. Nothing to it, we know how to do it, as my dad would say, right? Yeah, order the right carburetor, the one that comes out, the fuel line goes on the left side on this model. We made it work with this Frankenstein fuel line. It also has a... Uh, Came with a little red fuel filter, and I don't even know if that's the right way it goes. The, the shutoff valves have an arrow on it. These do not have an arrow, so that may be the wrong way. But let's turn that on. Don't leak. Let's see if it'll start. <clears throat> Switch. Good enough. Works for me. Looks good for my house. Alright, good luck. Wish you the best.